Quite often in Google Ads, success can take time. So don't get frustrated if you don't see results in those first couple of weeks or even those first couple of months. And right now, let me show you an example of what can happen if you give Google time and stick with it and the type of results that you can see with Google Ads. What I'm showing you here is a campaign for the last 12 months. We took on this campaign at the start of June and you can see here that their actual ROAS was in at 235 and they had a conversion value of 17,000. Fast forward to June this year, so 12 months later, you can actually see that for the same time period that they had a ROAS of 690%, so just under 700, and they nearly hit $70,000 just from Google Ads in that one month. So you can see a completely different result from what they saw just June the previous year. But also what I wanna show you here is that those results didn't come just after one month. It was a slow, gradual build, and then we saw some rapid results here after we'd put together a good four or five, six months of solid growth. So in this video, I wanna take you through the process that I put in place to be able to see success like I just showed you time and time again in all different types of Google Ads campaigns because that's the type of success that I want you to see for your own business. Now, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy and it is my absolute pleasure to have you here. So what I wanna do right now is I wanna jump into another screen share so I can take you through the important factors that you need to focus on so that you too can also have successful Google Ads campaigns for your own business. Let's go. So what we wanna be talking about here is just a reminder that Google Ads can sometimes take some time, but I wanna give you that reminder of look at the difference one year of optimizations can make for your business. And this is that campaign I showed you before in June of 2022. They were only seeing that 15 and a half thousand of conversion value with a ROAS of 336%. Then when we fast forwarded it to June 2023, so just a year later, that conversion value for this business was up at 56,000 and their actual ROAS was at 725,000. So that's another example of the type of success that you can see with Google Ads when you put together these principles. So what I wanna be talking about here is this endless cycle that we need to be going on, which is about collecting data, reviewing your data and optimizing. So along with the correct campaign structure for your account and campaigns, these are the three vital steps that you need for successful Google Ads campaigns. And the first thing is, is that you need to be always collecting the data so that when you make a change in Google Ads, you need to give Google time to collect more data before you can decide whether that change was positive or negative. And the reason why I added this in is because sometimes I see people will make a change to say, for example, their ad copy, or they'll introduce a new target bidding strategy. So like a, a new target rise goal. And then they get really disappointed if they're not seeing any change in their account in the next week or in the next two weeks. Because what you need to do is once you've collected that initial data and made an optimization, you need to give Google time for more data to come in. And that's why it's really important. I've just made this note here about checking the times in my optimization checklist. And if you don't have one of my optimization checklists, I encourage you to follow the link in the description below to get my checklist. And what this does is it not only lets you know what optimization actions you need to complete, but it also lets you know whether they need to be completed every week, every month, or every 90 days. Because there are some things that once you make that change, you may need to give it a month or even three months before you know whether that optimization has been a positive positive or negative for your account. Second thing is once you've collected that data, remembering that after you've made some optimizations, it's a new level of data, you need to review that data. So you're reviewing the most relevant data for your business, starting with the highest spending parts of your account. Now, the reason for why that second part of that point about starting with the highest spending parts of your account is so important is because you wanna be prioritizing your focus on where you're spending the most money in your account. So if you've only got one Google Ads campaign, obviously you just focus on that campaign, but you wanna be diving into that campaign and looking at the specific ad groups or products which are spending the majority of your money and then add focus your optimizations there. So what you wanna be doing doing from there is that you're focusing on the highest spending parts of your campaign, optimizing them to be able to be get the best results. And then after you've completed the optimizations and those high spending, you can then go to some of those other areas which aren't spending as much money and look to focus on those parts of your campaign. But the priority is always focusing on where you're spending the most amount of money. And then finally, this third part of this process, and it's a continual loop where you're going from collecting data, reviewing data and optimizing, is that once you have reviewed your data and you 
see errors for improvement, then you make the necessary changes to optimize your account. So whether that would be to adjust your target CPA or target ROAS, adding in new negative keywords, doing a new round of ad copy tests, so an AB split testing process. And that's the process that I continually go through on all of my accounts. And that was the process that I put in place for this account. And you can see that as you follow that process and be consistent with your optimizations in Google Ads, that you can see some great results over a 12 month period with Google Ads for your business. Once again, thank you for joining me. And remember that if you want to have some extra assistance so you know exactly how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns, in the right way, I want you to go through and follow that link in the description below so you can get access and download for free my Google Ads optimization checklists. And if you'd like to see in detail through a video step-by-step -step process of how I go through and optimize my search campaigns, go through onto this video right here. Or if you'd like to see how I optimize my Performance Max campaigns, go through onto this video right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. See you next time.